Hi, are we ready? It's our first hit yoga. Well excited, so excited. So today we're gonna do 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. I thought I'd do it longer just to give us time to get into the exercises and then a bit of a longer break. We're gonna do six rounds, six different exercises and we're gonna do it twice through, okay? So 12 minutes of hard work. So just stand up for a moment and we'll give ourselves a little shoulder roll. If you do get a chance to do a bit of a warm up beforehand, that would be good. Even if it's just walking around the house or taking a dog somewhere, I don't know. It doesn't have to be much, but just so that you're not literally falling out of bed and then jumping into it. But we're just going to keep it short, so that's the whole point. You can fit it in every day if you want to. Woohoo! Beautiful. Let's do a few little side to side. This is going to be a useful little move, this one. You'll see. Okay, are we ready? I've got my little timer here. And just give yourself a little spinal twist. So I am going to focus on modifications as well. They'll, the more we do this, the more you'll recognise certain exercises, although I've got so many in my head that um, there won't be too much repetition. So, let's do this. The first one we're going to do is a side lunge, and I'll, I'll go through it as we go. Okay, ready, 40 seconds on, and go. So we're going to lunge to the side, now you can keep this nice and sh shallow if you like, like this. If you want to take it further, you're going to lunge deeper and really come forward with a flat back, so you're coming all the way over. Lift up and take it to the other side. So the option to keep it quite shallow, and tip slightly forward, or we're gonna really stretch down, feeling a stretch through the inner thigh. If this lunge isn't for you, you can take it into a squat instead. We've got five more seconds, and then we get a little rest. Bonus. And rest. See, that wasn't too bad, was it? Just get ourselves into it nice and gently. So we're gonna come into walkouts now. So standing at the back of your mat, and we're gonna walk out into a plank position, option to add a press up. So you can come down onto your knees for the press up or um, you can stay on your toes. Ready? And let's go. So walk out to a plank position and walk straight back. Keep going. Or when you get to here, you can do a press up and go back. So take it at your level. If something's really challenging for you, that's brilliant. Think by the end of this week, I'm going to have felt a little bit of a difference here. I, it's going to feel a little bit easier, maybe. So it might be you want to bring the knees down and do a press up. You might not want to do a press up at all. This is still super, super work for the core and for the upper body. Nice stretch for the hamstrings. Five seconds. And roll it up. Beautiful. Okay, give yourself a little shoulder roll. The next one we're going to do is mountain climbers. So come down onto your mat into a plank position. Options, I'll show you, we've got 10 seconds, is to go on the knees and just lift one leg and then the other. If you can come on your toes, we're either going to take one knee up and then the other, or let's go, you're going to jump in mountain climbers. So remember, you can take the impact out here, just taking one knee, take the other knee, or you can bring a bit of cardio in, make sure hands are underneath the shoulders. Jump, 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 jump. If you're staying on your knees, just focus on lifting one leg, lifting the other leg. Let's do this. We've got oh, 10 more seconds. Some exercises seem to take forever, don't they? <laughs> Five more seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Two, one, and rest. Oh, give yourself a little roll. So we're going to stay in a plank here, and then we're going to either do jumping jacks with our feet, like so, or you can step one out, step the other out. If you want to stay on your knees, practice straightening one leg, straighten the other, and come down. Okay, go. Off we go. So first level here. If you can be on your toes, step out, step out. If you want to add the jump, go for it. It's like doing jumping jacks. You'll start to feel it in your arms now. If it's too much on your wrists, you can also do this on your forearms. Whew. And we're halfway. OMG. Come back up onto your hands if you can. Keep going, keep going. 
10 seconds left. You can do this guys. We are strong, we are awesome. If you need a break, just take one. It's absolutely fine. Something to build up to and rest. Oh, OMG. Okay. Are you ready? We're going to come into reverse table. So this is gorgeous. Hands behind, you can have them pointing any direction. I find it most comfortable there. And we're going to lift up. Let's go. Go, go, go. And then as you lower down, you can drop the knees one way, drop the knees the other way, and then lift back up. So squeeze the bottom, and then lovely hip rotation here. If you want to add in a bit of core work, of course you do, then you can replace the hip rotation for a boat. Hold, keep the spine long, feet down and lift. So whichever feels best for you, And down, five seconds, and rest. Okay, so you're loving it, aren't you? Thinking, yes, Joe, let's do more of this. Okay, last exercise, bridge lifts. Get back down, onto your back. Uh, so option, we're gonna do three pulses at the top. So we'll start in two, one, press the feet down, lift the hips, squeeze the bottom, one, two, three, and lower down. So that's option one, two, three, lower down. If you want to increase, lift one leg up, one, two, three, lower down and swap. Take it where you feel, not necessarily comfortable, but where you feel you're working your muscles and you're not straining too hard. Squeeze that bottom. We've got 10 seconds left. Really squeeze. Two, one, oh no, another one, <laughs> rest. Beautiful, that's your six exercises, yes. So we're gonna start from the top, we're gonna to do it all again. Are you ready? It may be first time, you want to just do it once through, and have a cup of tea, that's entirely up to you. Five seconds, we're going into that side lunge. Are you ready? And remember, if you're coming down low, take that forward fold, so really lengthen through, the back, keep it nice and long, stick your bottom back and feel this leg working, pushing the buttock and also stretch through the inner thigh on the other leg. If you want to speed it up, feel free. Just watch that knee, make sure it follows the toe. We've got 15 seconds. Go, go, go. Whoo, squeeze the bottom on the way up. Five seconds. Two, one, and rest. Beautiful. Okay, walk out. Option to put the knees down and do a press up. Option to stay on the toes and do a press up. Press up, a press up. Or you don't press up. It's entirely up to you. Get ready, roll down, stick your bum up. Hands down, ready to walk. Two, one, go. Put that press up in if you can. Walk back straight away. No dawdling. The press up might not be for you at the moment, and that's totally fine. The beauty of this exercise, or this type of exercise, is that you can really build up and you can really notice when you suddenly start to feel stronger. Keep going, 15 seconds. I'm sure the clock's slower than it was before. 10 seconds. Forwards. Two seconds, and rest, Ooh. roll up. So the beauty of that one is you can get faster, walking in and out as fast as you can. Press up, go, 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 that's the beauty. So mountain climbers, now remember if you're on your knees, then lifting one knee and lifting the other. If you're on your toes, go, option, go. So just step one knee at a time or Jump them in like you're running up a mountain. Climb that mountain. Oh, that's only 15 seconds down, I'm afraid. This one seems like a killer, doesn't it? Strengthening the upper body, working the core. Whew. Keep going, keep going. We can do this. Just 12 minutes work to 
today, 12 minutes. Keep on going. Five more seconds. Two, one, and collapse gracefully. Give yourself a shoulder roll. And let's come into those plank jacks. So this is where you jump out to the side. Option to come onto the forearms if your wrists are hard enough. If you're on your knees, step up, step down. And let's go. So you can just step one way, step the other way, or come into those jacks. Try and make sure the back is strong. Your hands are underneath the shoulders. Oh, Lordy Lord, we are halfway through. Yes, only halfway of this exercise. Keep on going. Jump, jump, jump. We've got 10 seconds left. Come on, we can do this. Jump out, jump in. Whew, five seconds. Keep going, keep going. And rest. Knees down. Cool, blimey, I'm sweating. Oh, as Joe Wicks would say, I'm blowing. I'm blowing. Oh, right, reverse table. And then either hip rotation feels gorgeous or coming into boat. Are we ready? Lift. Lift the hips, down, and then option for boat. Lift, squeeze your bum, lift your hips as high as you can. Feel the chest open, the shoulders open. Oh, Lord. Let's keep going, guys. Doing an amazing job. 15 seconds, keep going. Now this is one you might want to try and do quickly, or you might like the benefit of just holding, squeeze, lower down, lift, hold, five seconds, and rest. Beautiful. Whew. Okay, last exercise. Can you believe it already? On to your back, bridge. Okay. So we're going to do those three pulses at the top. You can have both feet down or option to make it harder. You can lift one foot. Two, one, lift the hips. Two, three, and down. So you can stay here or lift one leg. One, two, three, and lower. Take it to the other side. Two, three, and alternate. Gorgeous. It's a killer, isn't it, that on your butt? 15 seconds. Ten seconds. Come on, squeeze that bum. Feel yourself getting stronger. Two, one, and rest. Oh. Well, I hope you feel a little bit out of breath, because I do. So it's just a fantastic exercise. Just bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Rotate the feet, the ankles moving, rotate them the other way. So yeah, these HIIT workouts, they're meant to be short. If you're on a mission, just do it again. Uh, but it's supposed to be something quick that you can fit into your day. You might want to do it first thing in the morning. You might want to do it before tea when you get home from work. When you've not got a lot of time, straighten one leg. I'm going to try and keep them under 15 minutes makes it far more manageable. Keep the shoulders down. Just let the knee open out to the side and then over the body. If you want to do more of a warm up or more of a cool down, obviously you can spend more time here. And then swap knees, draw that one in. But I do guarantee the kind of exercises they are will really help your yoga practice, strengthening the right parts of the body that you need to do those more challenging postures. But also, you'll, you'll just feel stronger, you'll feel fitter. And take your hand to the thighs, and you can roll over and sit up, or you can give yourself a little roll backwards and forwards. So just see how you feel with it. Um, and any kind of feedback is more than welcome. If there's anything you particularly like more of or less of, um, not less hit though, um, then just let me know. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll look forward to hearing from you, I think. Namaste.